When do you need surgery for a stress fracture? Malley and colleagues examined three different locations in this study. The anterior tibial cortex is affected in five to 15% of tibial stress fractures, and because of its high tensile loads, has a harder time of healing without a surgical intervention. So Hansen and colleagues found a 55% success rate in conservative management. Rava and colleagues found an average return to sport of 24 weeks with an anterior tibial cortex stress fracture, and only a 53% success rate when managing these injuries conservatively. The second location the authors examined was the the navicular bone, a boat-shaped bone located in your foot that is at a high risk of not healing secondary to its avascular nature. The authors found a quicker time of returning to sport with surgical management of 16.4 weeks versus 21.7 weeks with conservative management. However, Torg and Potter both found no difference in conservative versus surgical management in long-term outcomes. The base of the fifth metatarsal was the final location that the authors examined. Fractures in the fifth metatarsal are divided into three different zones with different outcomes depending on the location. In zone one, the non-union rate is small at 0.5 to 1%, while zones two and three show a 25 to 28% chance of non-union without surgery, a 67% chance of delayed healing, and a 61.1% chance of refracture with conservative management. There is some uncertainty when it comes to using surgery versus conservative management in these high-risk sites. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next week on Thinking Cap Thursdays, where I look at research and ideas and apply them to living, breathing runners.